In this video, we'll learn how to add a provider and explore helpful tools such as notes and alerts. A provider represents the person that renders services to the patient. Users with the account setup and provider's permission can add new providers with existing tax IDs. Users that also have the bill payment permission can add a new provider with a new tax ID. Let's get started. The Provider section is found by clicking on Customer Setup, and then selecting Providers. View all of your current providers by clicking Show All, or locate them using the search field. To add a new provider, click the New Provider button, then select whether your provider is an individual or an organization. Partner with your payer to understand how your provider is credentialed. Then, enter the information based on your billing requirements. If needed, you can use the magnifying glass next to the NPI and taxonomy fields to search within the NPI registry and to look up taxonomy specialty codes. Ensure your NPI number is correct, as this is a common reason for claim rejections and denials. Next, we will enter the provider's billing information. To begin, Assign the provider to a practice. Please note that the practice cannot be changed after saving the provider record. The Bill Claims Under field determines if this provider should bill claims with his NPI or a different provider's NPI. The Check Eligibility Under field operates in the same way. Do you want your provider to check eligibility with his NPI or another provider's NPI. The Use Which ID Number dropdown is used to select which tax ID number the provider should bill claims with. Again, this is dependent on how your provider is credentialed with your payer. You will be charged a one-time fee of $99 for each additional unique tax ID. The Bill As dropdown determines if your provider will bill with the practice NPI or with their individual NPI. The professional and institutional mode dropdowns are used to control the processing of claims. If you are still awaiting additional information, such as an agreement or credentialing, place your provider on hold to ensure that claims are not sent out. Test mode will verify the success of claims billed to the clearinghouse, but will not send the claim to the payer. When you are ready to send claims to your payers, set your provider to production to send claims to the clearinghouse and on to the payer. Next, enter the provider's contact information and any necessary ID numbers. Within the side panels, you will have the option to add notes or alerts relevant to this provider. The Notes tab is a free form text field and is a great place to leave important information for your team to view. Alerts are another helpful tool to ensure your team is aware of any important information. Alerts will cause a pop-up message to appear when this provider is open within the application. Adding and viewing alerts is easy. Click the alert side panel then select Add Alert. Enter the message along with the display options and effective date range. Now that you know how to add providers, you can start building your account. For step-by-step -step directions, FAQs, and other how-to videos on the Customer Setup section, visit our Knowledge Center at help.collaboratemd.com. Thanks for watching.